Music of the streets. Music from the gutter. Music for the fiery. When were you introduced? Was it when you went to your first Eskimo dance? Or was it when you ended up on Channel U amongst all the rubbish on TV? Was it when you came across your favourite artists appear on SBTV or Grime Daily? Or was it when the likes of Kanye West and Drake were associating with all the top UK MCs? It's likely at this point you became aware that there was in fact an entire scene behind the gun fingers, hoodies and screw faces of the UK streets and that it was known as grime music. Grime as a genre has largely stayed under the radar since its birth. However, a lot of people have overlooked exactly how much of an influence it has had on the British youth culture over the last 15 years. How it's finally given a voice to the people who have been censored for years. How it's developed confidence, self-expression and a sense of belonging in the masses of youths born into working class families. And how it has on many occasions universally united the most ethnically diverse generation of people in the UK's history. But that is because grime is bigger than music. Grime is a culture.